hello everyone so welcome uh, today we are going to study how much current will flow in a square loop if it is entering into a magnetic field okay so let us first uh, understand what the situation is given so we have a square loop of dimension l into l which is moving with a velocity of v okay and here this is the magnetic field region whose length is given as a and the magnitude of the magnetic field is given as b okay the magnitude of magnetic field is given as b now uh, let us suppose let us suppose that this loop has just reached this place okay this loop has just reached this place and it is about to enter into the magnetic field region okay now uh, start your stopwatch from here means we will count t equal to 0 for this situation and after this we will calculate the time okay so here it is t equal to 0 now let us find that how much length will be inside the magnetic field region after time t okay how much length will be inside the magnetic field region after time t so if its velocity is v and that is constant so this uh, distance will be given by v into t distance will be given by v into t so the new diagram will be like this that some part of this loop has entered into the magnetic field region and this distance is given as v into okay is it clear till now now how we find the emf induced in the loop how we find the emf induced in the loop so for that we have to first find the magnetic flux passing through that particular loop so magnetic flux passing through that particular loop okay so what is the formula for magnetic flux it is magnetic field into area through which the magnetic field is passing so if this length is vt this length is vt and this length is l so can you tell me about the area of this shaded region it will be simply v into t into l this is area into the magnetic field region now if i will say what is the flux it will be v into v into t into l okay it is simply v v l into t now talk about the emf induced what is the emf induced loop so emf induced is given as minus of d phi by dt so if we are going to differentiate this flux we will simply get minus of b v into l okay now uh, if we talk about the magnitude of emf induced it is simply bv into l now let us suppose that the resistance of the square loop is r so current induced will be given as i is equal to bv l by r. okay now let us think about the direction of the current in direction of the current so uh, what is lens law actually what is lens law so it tells us about that if the flux is changing if the flux is changing then the current is induced in such a direction that it opposes that change of flux. okay current will induce in such a direction that it will oppose the change of the flux so here we can see that the inward flux is increasing as the particle as the loop will move move forward as the loop will move forward the flux will increase the flux will increase okay so net inward flux is increasing so current will produce in such a direction that the magnetic field produced because of that current should be in outward direction should be in outward direction so that it opposes the change so if 
we have to produce the magnetic field in outward direction then the current should be in anti clockwise direction right hand thumb rule if it is anti clockwise direction then the uh, magnetic field will point outwards that is out of the plane okay so we know about the emf induced magnitude of emf we know about the current we know about the direction of current now let us think the situation let us think about the situation when the loop has completely entered into the magnetic field region completely entered into the magnetic field region now if it is moving forward if it is moving forward will the flux change obviously it will not because area is same magnetic field is same so flux will remain same the flux is not changing okay so this this current this current is not for always it is for a particular time interval and what will be that time interval it is from uh, it is the time till which it has crossed length l it has crossed length l so time will be given by t is equal to distance that is l divided by velocity that is so till this time the current induced into the loop is dv l by r okay now till 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 the time it is into the loop means till this position the current induced will be zero now again if it is existing from the loop means existing from the magnetic field region so let us again draw the diagram if it is existing from the magnetic field region then we can see that again the flux is changing again the flux is changing so again there will be uh, some induced emf and if there is induced emf then again there will be some current so we can say that magnetic field is same velocity is same so the rate at which the flux will be changing will be same. means the rate of change of flux is same that is emf induced will be same what is emf induced it is rate of change of flux with time okay so if velocity is not changing then rate of change of flux is also same so we can say that the magnitude of emf induced in this case also will be bvl so the current will be also bvl divided by r but what about the direction what about the direction will it be anti clockwise in this case also will it be anti clockwise in this case also let us see so what is happening with flux flux is decreasing in inward direction okay we can see that area is decreasing magnetic field is constant so flux is decreasing okay flux is decreasing in inward direction so the current will flow in such a direction that it will produce the magnetic field in inward direction okay to oppose the change means if flux is decreasing inside it will not it will try that it should not decrease inside okay so it will just oppose that change so in this case the magnetic current will produce magnetic field in inward direction so the direction of current should be clockwise in this case so it was anti clockwise for this direction and it is clockwise for this direction so this was the method um, this was the first method by uh, solving through the method of finding flux okay now we have one another method we have one another method we have studied that if if a uh, if a rod is moving through a magnetic field region with velocity v then the potential difference across the two points of the rod is given as bvl is given as bvl what is the condition here the condition is that p v and l all should be perpendicular so if you can see here v is in this direction l is in this direction and b is in inward direction so both are perpendicular means all three are perpendicular so we can simply say that the emf induced will be bvl so this is one direct method 